A lot of houses have an attic, but not many people make good use of that space. We usually end up tossing a couple boxes of holiday decorations up there and then forgetting about it. But with some organization and a few bits of DIY ingenuity, you can turn your attic into a functional and accessible storage space. A lot of attics are difficult to use as storage because flooring is either limited or non-existent. Luckily, we can change that with just some plywood. Be careful when stepping into an unfinished area and only place your feet on the ceiling joist. If you put weight on the drywall between the joists, you'll damage it and possibly fall through. In a case like this, where the ceiling joists are 16 inches on center, we can simply take some 3 quarter inch plywood and screw it down right on top. If your joists are spaced further apart or you're dealing with a truss system, you may want to add additional bracing or better yet, consult an engineer. Having a lot of space to put things doesn't really help if you can't find any of it. That's why I think the most important item in attic storage, or any storage really, is the clear storage bin. They keep out moisture and dust, they're stackable, they have handles, and best of all, they're clear, so you can see exactly what's inside without having to pull everything off the shelf. I like to use these with some basic labels to help organize everything efficiently. If you have a flat wall, you can use shelving units to create more organized area for your bins. Place heavier items on the bottom to keep the shelves stable, and put larger items in the back so you can clearly see everything at a glance. One of the difficulties in most attics is the angle of the roof. This angle really limits what you can do with the space. So what we're going to do is install shelves parallel to the floor using the roof rafters as a support. If your roof has a strut coming from the rafter to the floor, you can use both parts as the basis for your shelves. If not, you can do what we're doing and add some 2x4s between the rafters and the floor joists to play the same role. We've cut some plywood to the same width as the space between our struts so we can slide them in here. All we need now are some 2x4s to act as braces. Then you can place the plywood onto the frame you've created and screw it all together. It's a simple fix, but adding these shelves can really improve the amount of space you have to store bins, baskets, and more. With a couple brackets and a clothes rod, you can hang things like winter coats, seasonal clothes, wreaths, and more. Dry cleaning bags or garbage bags can help keep the dust off if you want to keep things looking their best. Basic screw-in hooks can also be a great tool for organization. Not only can you hang items from the hooks, you can also use two hooks together to hold a basket or bucket by the handle. If you want to get a bit more involved in building, you can really maximize space with a pivoting storage box like this one. This mounts between the roof rafters and folds down to reveal storage for lots of different items. Measure the space between your rafters and subtract a quarter inch. Cut two 2x4s to this width. Determine the total length of the box you want to make and subtract the width of the 2x4s you just cut. This will be the length of your side pieces. Cut two more 2x4s to this size. Now, you can screw the pieces together at the ends. Measure the size of your finished box and cut a piece of plywood to that same size. Attach it to the back of the box with screws. This will be your storage box. Hold the box in place and drill a hole on either side, through the box and the roof rafters. Place carriage bolts through the rafters and the box to act as a pivot point. You can secure the boxes in the upright position with an eye hook or a wooden cleat on a slightly loosened screw. A small board or bungee cord can hold items in place in the vertical position. Don't overload these boxes. If they get too heavy, it can be unsafe to open and close them. With some organization, basic tools from Lowe's, and some DIY know-how, you can easily transform your attic into a useful and manageable storage space.